Hey there guys, how's it going? This is Rexford here, and welcome back to yet another gimmick tutorial, and today what we're going to be doing is going over how to use joypads slash gamepads, or I guess joysticks, joypads, joysticks slash gamepads in Game Maker. This is really simple to do, as all the tutorials that I've recently done are, and um, yeah. So, I guess with that said, let's go ahead and get right into it. So, as you can see, this is a little example that I made, which you can download in the description if you guys want to. And um, what we have is a lot of sprites and only one object. And let's go ahead and head over into this object and see what all is going on. So, uh, this object name is OBJ underscore controller. You can, of course, name it whatever you want to. Uh, this actually doesn't even have to be a controller. It's just here to show you guys how this all works. It could be uh, a player or, you know, whatever the heck you guys want it to be. Uh, the point is, we have all of these events in this one object. You'll notice that they're all joined joystick events and how you get the joystick events is go at events mouse and joystick and you see joystick let me move this up a little bit there we go joystick one and joystick two and um oh, it's getting a little bit cut off there let me go and uh, move this up a little bit more Will this work Okay, well, we're cutting off button 8 here, but basically we have for both joystick 1 and 2, uh, left, right, up, down, then button 1 through 8, or buttons, excuse me, and they're essentially the same exact thing, the only difference is joystick 2 is for multiple joysticks. So, uh, pretty self-explanatory, uh, left through, um, you know, right, up, and down are the directional movements on your gamepad, and the buttons 1 through 8 are all the buttons on it, and so... What I've done here is, let's go and exit this out, um, all of these events, if you go into the codes, um, correspond with these sprites over here. So when you go left on your gamepad, or joystick for anyone who actually still has any one of those, um, you're basically going to have this sprite here, this nothing sprite uh, right here, change to the left sprite right here. So that's pretty much how this works. I think you guys pretty much get the gist of how everything plays out. Basically, depending on what button you press, um, will basically change the sprite from this nothing one to the one over here and it's labeled so when you press like say uh, for, I'm using an Xbox gamepad a USB gamepad when I press the B key it's going to go to a red block and let me go ahead and really quickly run this uh, just so you guys can get a better uh, look at how it is or I guess how it works so I'll <laughs> see you guys in just a second I need to switch windows okay so we are in the example here so everything is all running and if I have uh, let's see let me go and get my gamepad there we go so if I press the A button it goes to green, B button, which is obviously uh, color-coded red as well, uh, goes to red, and if I press the Y button, which is color-coded yellow, goes to yellow, and uh, pretty much the same for everything else. The directional keys, I can go up, I can go left, I can go down, I can go right, and I can just go really crazy with it. Uh, I can go LB for left bumper and RB for right bumper. Now, the only thing is I have two, um, uh, what do you call, triggers, and... I haven't found anything like in the events that actually activate the triggers. So if you want to use the triggers, you're kind of out of luck there. Um, but you could also use the start, and I just called it back here because if I use select, it might look the same as start. Um, but anyway, start and select. So I'm not necessarily going to go over, like, go back to the example and go over what everything does because you might have to change it according to uh, how your controller's set up. But that's essentially how it works. So, you know, all those joypad controls that I showed you, events are basically what control your joypad slash joystick or gamepad. Ah! <laughs> totally getting just confused with all those. But anyway, uh, hopefully that helps you guys. And you can, of course, download the uh, example in the description. That should help you out a lot as well. And, uh, yeah. So I guess that's pretty much it. Um, feel free to comment, rate, subscribe for more updates and upcoming videos on the jazz. And uh, I am somewhat tired so excuse my stuttery kind of weird tone that's going on better in this video before it gets too off so uh, until next video guys until next time this has been Rex Free, and as always i'll see you all then